walk through the lobby, you almost feel like you're walking through Willy Wonka in the Chocolate Factory. It's a very happy place to be, a place that you even will say, hey, I think I want to work there. My husband had told me, you know, if you don't want a job there, I'll definitely look for one because he felt it was a very happy place to be. I came to Children's Mercy because I wanted to complete a pediatric hematology oncology fellowship and I felt like Children's Mercy would help me achieve my goals of becoming a competent, compassionate, um, physician and educator. So I matched at Children's Mercy for my pre-doctoral internship in pediatric psychology. I remember when I came here, I was so impressed by the number of faculty that were present at the interview day, and that wasn't even representative of all the faculty that are involved in training. So I really noticed right away um, that this was truly a department-wide effort and there would be so many people involved in training, and I thought that was really cool. Children come first and foremost in everything that we do, whether it's our clinical experiences, our research opportunities, education, Everything that we do is always goes back to what are we doing to make sure that we're helping the children and the communities that we're serving. We have the new CMRI building, which is going to open up all sorts of research opportunities. We have a great leadership team that understands the importance of education as well as research and community service. We really could be one of the top five to ten children's hospitals in pretty much every category within the next ten years. And that opportunity to be part of a team that builds that, grows that, and ultimately the purpose to do that is to have that impact on the community. That's what I came, to be the best for our community because that's who we serve. As the children's hospital in the city, Children's um, leads efforts in supporting our community in initiatives that support children. We see ourselves as the voice of the child and we will be the advocates for the programs that assure that they're represented as decisions are made throughout the city. Children's Mercy has helped me build a national network of um, neonatologists and pediatricians through the AAP or the American Academy of Pediatrics. There is a lot of uh, growing research at, that is done at Children's Mercy that's really unique and that I actually did not have any idea about. In my own division, uh, we have a couple of NIH funded uh, research mentors and so I got to work with uh, Dr. Venkatesh Sampath, who is funded by the NIH, and we got to work on necrotizing intercolitis. Um, and I got to do research with mice in the animal house uh, at UMKC. So I think there's a lot of resources for basic science or clinical science at Children's Mercy. I think one of my most important opportunities that has come through training at Children's Mercy has been joining over here as faculty. The faculty at Children's Mercy are committed to educating the next generation of fellows that will eventually take their jobs in the future. Our faculty have um, dedicated time to spend with the fellows. Um, they have standard curriculum not only for fellows to learn from their division leaders but also to learn in group settings where faculty from other divisions are sharing their knowledge with our entire class of fellows. Children's Mercy has opened a lot of doors for me. Um, probably the one that comes to mind first is just the ability to conduct research projects that are really interesting to me. There are two things that I love about coming to work here for the day. First of all, I actually did a lot of my training and my clinical time in Chicago and Los Angeles. So the first thing I love is the 15 minute commute. Absolutely wonderful. The second thing is the people. And as you interact with people, and that really is the pull to why to come to, to, to Mercy. And, and in general, just to Kansas City, the, the people we deal with, whether it's with the community, whether it's with our patients and their family, there is a, a sincerity. Kansas City has um, a lot of great barbecue. <laughs> it's very family friendly. And I think for me, the biggest thing coming from Houston is the minimal traffic. I'm a Midwest girl at heart, and I love Kansas City because I love to experience the four seasons. Um, as much as it's sweltering warm in the summer, I love snowflakes at Christmas time, but also love pumpkins in the fall and um, springtime. Kansas City has obviously sports teams that people are all very excited about um, and that people really rally around. It's definitely a foodie town, um, so I love going and trying restaurants. And then even when we've been home for the last couple of months, I've really appreciated how many parks, walking trails, um, just things there are to do outside. I think that's been um, really huge over the past several months. If you've never visited Kansas City or been to Kansas City, a lot of people will call it a flyover city because they've never actually stopped by or thought it was worth stopping by. But I think that if you pause and you visit, you'll find that there's something for everybody over here.
Hi, I'm Denise Bratcher, a pediatric infectious diseases physician and chair of the Department of Graduate Medical Education at Children's Mercy Kansas City. We're excited that you're considering fellowship at our hospital and would like to share more about the unique opportunities available through the programs at Children's Mercy. With more than 40 subspecialty programs in pediatrics and internal medicine pediatrics, we are proud to offer fellows the experience they need to pursue their subspecialty of interest. Furthermore, we integrate our efforts along the entire continuum and meet the hospital's interdisciplinary educational needs to include physicians, psychologists, clinical pharmacologists, dentists, optometrists, ethicists, and laboratory geneticists. This means that our fellows benefit from in-depth, comprehensive, and hands-on experience. Let's explore the opportunities our programs provide and the many ways a fellowship with Children's Mercy Kansas City can benefit you. Hi, I'm Susan Hathaway, Vice Chair and Administrative Director of Graduate Medical Education at Children's Mercy Kansas City. As you carefully consider your options for fellowship, we know it's important to choose a program that offers the knowledge and experience you seek, as well as a network of peers you align with and enjoy. We're committed to delivering on this and more. Along your journey to fellowship, your education shifts from broad and shallow to focused and deep. While the individual fellowships provide depth, our department attempts to maintain breadth. We intentionally build a fellows community across our programs. We've accomplished this through several curricula designed to help fellows succeed in the ever-changing healthcare environment in which medical knowledge doubles every five years. This starts with understanding your leadership role as a fellow. The Common Curriculum is a required course throughout the first year that puts fellows in interdisciplinary cohorts with about eight faculty to explore their own personal values, biases, and default modes, and to examine how those influence their relationships with others in our healthcare fields. The course then transitions to understanding the healthcare systems in which fellows function as leaders. Also available is our new grant writing curriculum, which helps prepare fellows for success in the research arena. The curriculum starts with an all-day grant writing workshop. A longitudinal experience includes cohorts of fellows paired with coaches who have succeeded in a variety of areas, including basic science, translational, health outcomes, education, and advocacy efforts. At the end of the grant writing curriculum, fellows can submit to a variety of grants, including an internal fellows grant for up to $15,000. Support through our biostats class bolsters confidence for those fellows who haven't had statistics for a while. Additional supportive structures related to research include our medical librarians and the writing center. For multi-year fellows, we recommend taking the QI curriculum in the second year, after fellows have had a chance to understand the clinical environment and the gaps and improvements needed in their respective areas. This is the perfect setup for our QI curriculum called Problem Solving for Fellows, which starts with a full day workshop. A continuity experience with coaches provided in both subspecialty content areas and in QI walks the fellows through a project that is supported and impactful to the division's clinical efforts. For many of our fellows, quality improvement becomes the scholarly product that they publish to meet the certification requirement. Finally, all of you can think back to those faculty who inspired or pushed you to achieve things you didn't think were possible. You are excited to work with them clinically, and we want our fellows to be exceptional leaders like them. Coursework in that area, as well as others, is available through the Office of Faculty Development. The experience gained through our programs, as well as the network you will come to establish, are invaluable. But the benefits of a fellowship at Children's Mercy Kansas City include so much more. We are proud to offer competitive salaries. We offer salaries well above the national average, with cost of living in Kansas City well below our competitor cities. Our trainees have the opportunity to live down the street in the heart of the city or a short distance away in a more residential neighborhood. Health and dental insurance. Residents and fellows are eligible for group health and dental insurance for themselves and their dependents at the hospital's expense. In some cases, this can result in an additional $30,000 over a three-year fellowship, which can instead be leveraged to pay off student loans or save toward a home. Tuition assistance, up to $5,250 per calendar year, is available for tuition-related expenses for master's or certificate programs for fellows' education. Stipends, access to additional funds for scholarly presentations, board review, and global health, 
as well as access to philanthropic funds for innovative educational opportunities are available. Free parking, residents and fellows are provided free parking at the hospital. And while we hope these benefits demonstrate our appreciation for your talents and time, they don't come close to the greatest benefit Children's Mercy offers, our culture, team, and work environment. Our hospital has a rich history and is seen as a staple of Kansas City with overwhelming community support. Coming to work every day, you will be surrounded by intelligent, hardworking, positive, and supportive team members who are each equally proud to work here and are dedicated to advancing our mission while having a bit of fun themselves. Our values are ingrained in who we are and drive our every action. And our leadership team provides open, transparent, and strategic direction that is elevating our institution to new levels. As you reflect on your choice, remember that Children's Mercy Kansas City offers a 120-year history of clinical excellence, learner-centered programs with a focus on training wellness, a hospital-wide focus on research demonstrated through the launch of our Children's Mercy Research Institute, a culture that values and celebrates diversity and inclusion, strong support from the Kansas City community in terms of market share and philanthropic giving, and a friendly place to live, work, and relax with all the benefits of a big city in a growing mid-sized town. Thank you for joining us virtually today. We hope you find yourself in Kansas City soon. For more information on our programs, visit childrensmercy.org slash fellowships today.